I'm finally doing it. I'm turning my vehicle into an art studio by only adding two items. Wow, chef. I'm lost. <laughs> I have no idea where I am. With our schedules being so hectic recently, I haven't even been able to go on this hour and a half morning walk that I used to do every single morning. And I'm so glad I finally get to be back here, but I need to build an escape vehicle, a place where I can just go in, turn my phone off and actually get some art creative things done. But first we have to clean the apartment and not look like a bum because Sarah Dietschy's grandpa is coming over later. So much trash, so much organizing, and look at this cat just enjoying his life. I also did a panel with Moment Lens that lasted for an hour and a half. Thanks everyone. <laughs> Maybe, but. I love you, babe. Love you. I'll see you soon. Wow, I was totally enjoying listening to a book while driving so much I forgot to film, but we just arrived. Now, I'm just gonna make the safe assumption that this is going to blow your mind. First off, we're in a park that I'm definitely going to explore afterwards. But for now, you know how I mentioned there's only two items I needed to make this a perfect art studio? This one right here is going to shock you. Not to add too much suspense and drama, but this box right here apparently contains everything I need for sketching, painting, and drawing, and I bought this as a one-pack thing on Amazon. I think it was like $50. And then I already tested this out last night, but this right here is a foldable table. So yes, not only is it a foldable table, but it has slots that come out. So it has this right here, you pull it out, and it can actually hold things like pencils or pens that you can just kind of put in there. And then it has a place, this little indention where you can put your iPhone, you can set it up. It also has this thing that comes out that you can use as a, uh, as like a iPod holder. You see that? How crazy is that? So you can just kind of sit here, put on a laptop, chill here, work on your computer here. So this right here is like, I, I feel like I don't know how I lived without something like this, even in my own apartment, because I like sitting on the ground. I like sitting on the floor, so I have this. So although I obviously looked at the contents within this thing online, I haven't opened it in person. So I am so excited to see what lies beneath this thing. First off, the packaging, mwah, chef's make out. So there's a bunch of different latches that you can kind of undo, and there's two right here, and it immediately lends to you having two drawers that open up and then there's a top latch that opens up to the top so there's literally three sections within this one thing this is not sponsored by any stretch of the imagination this is just something that hopefully will make my art life much easier so let's just start with the top open it bada bing bada boom so you can actually use this back part as an easel you see and then you can lean it back and you can just paint on it directly it's a little loose so i feel like that wouldn't be ideal for me and then you can just kind of screw it wherever yeah, you heard me. I always forget what these things are called because I'm a smart person. They gave you like a canvas piece of paper. They gave you a sketchbook. They gave you a watercolor sketchbook. So you literally have two sketchbook and watercolor sketchbook. And then right here is all of the chalk and the oil paint and the brushes that come with it. So you get like a whole, it's weird because I feel like this wasn't that expensive, but this itself would be expensive like just for this paint. So let's go to drawer number one and see what's within. Oh my gosh, it's like a ton more acrylic paint and then it has like the, the scalper paint thing. It's got more chalk, it's got more brushes. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just a lot more stuff. And if you don't like dealing with oil, now you have acrylic paint. And then last but not least, another section of watercolor paint. You have this thing right here. You got the water, you got the colored pencils. You have pretty much everything you need. You have a pencil sharpener, you have pencils. You have literally like, why do I keep saying literally? This is actually one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Okay. Oh, it's hot. I have to roll down the windows a bit. So I guess that's gonna be the hard part is controlling the aspects of the vehicle from the back. I can just kind of maneuver myself forward, put the keys subtly in the niche, and roll down the windows just a bit. So if somebody tries to break in, that would be hilarious. Cause I'd be like, hey guys, I'm trying to draw here. Could you guys, you know, go away, come back later. So admittedly, I'm a bit warm. I do live in Texas, so I could probably figure out a way to just keep the AC on. Probably not the greatest thing for my gas, etc. Especially if I do this for literally hours on hours and hours. What do you think? That 
that's it. That's a character. I mean, that took me quite a while. I would say how long has the camera been recording? Uh, 40 minutes to draw one character. I mean, that's not terrible. That's usually what it takes anyways, but. Also just realizing now I can't open the back door from the inside because my legs, I need a stretch. <sighs> okay, I need to figure this situation out right here. This is a massive mess. I can actually see the potential. I could see this working out to where I'm like, I just wanna pull over and do art and it working, but I have to get electricity working in here somehow. Like this is like the start of me doing van life by accident. Eventually this bag could just be like a sleeping bag or something or a, a pillow to rest on just in case. So I can temporarily use this here, this here, and I need the skateboards, maybe not there. So for now, I can maybe stack my bags on top of this little area. I'm figuring things out. So for now, with extra wires and like little hard drives that I have, these SSDs, I can just put them right here. How awkward is this that somebody's pulling up next to me right now? Unorganized bags over here. Now I have an escape route. I can just walk right on out. Here are my sandals for when I do that, which is gonna be in two seconds because I have to pee. And then this area is kind of stashed away neatly over here. So this is fine. So I got my workout on, I'm gonna listen to a book, walk on this trail, and if we find a place to chill, I can pull out my paint book and read that. But this is kind of the day that I was hoping for earlier on. It's a little tough because especially recently, I've had a lot of random things pop up, like my brother coming into town, getting my kitchen renovated, and today I had this meeting around 11 to basically talk with other creators about a course that we just released about how to do YouTube. And for me, I was like, I want to get the day started earlier and it was such a cool opportunity obviously but I'm like the most like don't bother me I'm trying to hustle not <laughs> I guess hustle is a bad word now but I always have these projections of things that I want to get into and things that I'm interested in and anything that kind of takes away from that I'm like ugh, ugh. like it stops you for a moment you're like I'm trying to get on you know get going and get these things and, and learn and uh. Eagle Mountain Park, park boundary. Does that mean I'm not allowed to enter? I'm lost. <laughs> I have no idea where I am. I see the road. Hopefully there's a sidewalk so I can go all the way that way to my car. I just realized I'm on someone's property. <laughs> and in Texas, that's dangerous. But I'm completely fenced in. Yep, no sidewalk. <laughs> Oh, this is annoying. I'm walking like two blocks past my car because there's a barbed wire fence that's only to my neck that I should just jump. Ugh. I'm hungry. Was going to cut directly into me eating food, but I just saw like a canal village or something and I'm kind of obsessed with those in California. I was always just wandering around little canal areas. So if I can figure this out, it looks like it's like private or something Look over there you literally can't get over there unless you live in one of these houses guess what i found it whoa what the f that is a beautiful view to end the day Sheep. as i was saying i'm hungry hallelujah, hallelujah. dinner time i just take a shower excuse my hair I, I cut it and then i didn't i don't style it correctly i'm sorry i'm just you know what i'm just I'm too busy hustling to care about- No, it's not true. I'm sorry. So I just finished listening to the uh, Chip and Joanne Gaines book, and uh, I'm inspired. I wanna go out there and do things. Man, I have so much to learn that it does become overwhelming, right? You have so many ideas and things that you wanna do in your life. I'm 100% that way. There's so many things that I wanna get good at. And I think it just comes down to, okay, let's just spend the time to do this thing. Because in reality, most people don't. Most people like the idea of becoming better at something and they might spend a little bit of time every week trying to do that thing. But people who really want to get good at things, it's usually at the thing that you're excited to do anyways. So you can spend eight hours a day doing that thing. And recently I've neglected uh, becoming a better artist 
because there's like six different styles of art I'm trying to progress in at once. And it kind of feels like there's no progress because you're so slowly becoming good at all the things. Uh, but hopefully eventually everything will line up perfectly and I will be good at everything. That's, that's the goal, I guess. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time every Monday and Wednesday for a new video. I will absolutely get into the painting. I'll get into everything. I'll do all this stuff. I'll do an art show. I'll create more merch. I'll do everything I possibly can as a human being who only can exist for 24 hours a day, just like every other human. But I'm trying my best. And hopefully some of this stuff inspires you to chase your dreams and do the things. That's always the goal. Anyways, thank you so much. Take care, progress daily, and keep killing it.